I am a professor in Earth and Space Sciences at the University of Washington in Seattle. Oh, and are we alone? Uh, we're not alone, possibly. Um, from an observational point of view, we know of no others, so we are alone at this point in the 21st century. Oh, uh, and uh, so you don't expect to find uh, alien sh spaceships visiting Earth anytime soon? Um, probably not, because there's no evidence that they have done recently or in the past. Hmm. All right, and uh, now you're an expert in uh, atmospheres, and the early atmosphere in particular. So what was the Earth's atmosphere like uh, a billion years ago, two billion years ago, three billion years ago, four billion years ago? Well, if we go back two and a half billion years, and before that, then there was negligible levels of oxygen, less than a part per million. And so that had consequences for life. So life like us, animal-like life that breathes oxygen, was basically impossible. So the atmosphere has been critical for the evolution of life, and the evolution of life has in turn affected the atmosphere. So that makes it an interesting thing to study for astrobiology. Oh, but how about uh, before that, when life got started, I guess, about four billion years ago, what do you think the atmosphere was like then? Uh, certainly free of oxygen, because if there had been a lot of oxygen around, it would have oxidized the organic molecules and they would have turned to carbon dioxide, which is not useful. So, so what does that mean that life, if it gets started, has to be in a reducing atmosphere? Um, a reducing atmosphere is a normal place for a planet to start with. You know, that's what its atmosphere is like. And so, yes, um, but you, life doesn't have to start on the surface of a planet. There are locally reducing environments, such as hydrothermal vents, where hot water fluxes through the seafloor and comes out in hot springs on the seafloor, that life could have started there. I mean, so... Um, we still don't know where life originated exactly. Now, you've written recently a paper about this chemical disequilibrium in the atmospheres of planets in our solar system. And do you think, based on that type of test, we'll be able to distinguish life-bearing planets from non-life-bearing planets? We could do, if we um, are lucky enough to find atmospheres that perhaps are a bit like our own, so we know what's going on and can understand them. So in our own atmosphere, we have a lot of oxygen, uh, which is hard to do in the absence of life. We have molecules like methane, which should be destroyed by the oxygen. And so that means there's a big flux, um, which could be from volcanoes, but it's so big that, that most of it is, is biological. We also have a lot of nitrogen, which should react with the oxygen, but that's also maintained by biology. So we have a strange mix of gases and I think if we find a strange mix of gases that seems to be out of chemical equilibrium, that could mean that those gases are biogenic and it could mean that life is on the planet. So based on all the ideas you have about the origin of life on Earth, or do you think we're alone in the universe? Um, as I said before, currently we don't know of any life anywhere else. So from an observational point of view, we're alone. However, uh, when we look at the Earth, we see that um, life did arise and the principles on which life operates, the requirements of liquid water and the requirements of redox chemistry, uh, could, could, these things could exist on other planets and therefore I think it's worth looking. And I suppose I'm just optimistic from a philosophical point of view uh, and partly that's because a number of years ago we didn't know whether any exoplanets existed at all. Well, now we know that they're abundant in the galaxy, and it's possible one, one uh, outcome could be that, that life is abundant throughout the galaxy if we could just see it in the same way that exoplanets were abundant, but we couldn't see them. But once we got eyes um, through our various telescopes and techniques, we could see them. It may be that there are many of these planets out there in the habitable zones where they have liquid water on the surface, and if we just had the right telescopes and the right instruments, we would be totally surprised that life is abundant throughout the galaxy. That's a possibility. I don't know that. It's just I think we should be open to that idea, well, about, and therefore we should look. But nano aliens? Do you know any microscopists who have looked for nano aliens in their very high magnification images? I'm not sure what you mean by a nano alien. That's a nano, an alien made out of a thousand atoms or something, or ten thousand atoms, and they zoom around and they are everywhere, but we just haven't recognized them yet. 
Um, I think that's highly improbable because uh, if you have so few atoms, you can't have a genome, you can't encode much information. These things uh, basically wouldn't be able to function as a life form. How about viruses? Um, Are viruses life forms? Uh, well, there's a debate, debate about that. So some biologists have met say that viruses are alive and, and I think the majority say they're not. And the reason they say they're not is because they are basically parasitic. So they have to hijack another organism to reproduce. Isn't they that what you're doing right now, hijacking the oxygen of plants well, I'm to not, reproduce? I'm not exactly reproducing. That means having babies. Yeah. Well, if I took you and a female... <laughs> and I'm not, right, I'm not doing that right now. I hope you'll appreciate. Okay. Okay. All right. How about, I wouldn't do it in front of a camera oh, anyway. Oh, do, you think we're, do you think this is all a simulation from an advanced civilization? No, I don't. Why not? Um, I think we can apply Occam's razor, which is we, we take the simplest uh, solution. And to say it's just, we're, we're living in a simulation, I think is a very la an elaborate theory. And so um, in general, elaborate theories are usually nonsense. Well, in physics, but how about in biology, elaborate is what, is that if there's anything about life, it's elaborate. Uh, I think you're mistaking the complexity of biology with um, what you need to explain it. I mean, at the end of the day, biology must all be explained by chemistry and physics. There's no magic going on. I thought and there was magic when you produce a life form, like my laptop is starting to get smarter and smarter, and my smartphone is starting to come alive. Um, you don't consider those to be life forms or proto life forms? Um, you know, I don't think they're quite life forms yet because they're not independent entities. You consider living yourself in, an independent entity? Well, they're not in the sense, I'm not saying, what I mean by independent is within a particular environment. They're not um, reproducing and metabolizing. They're not reproducing, they get reproduced all the time. Well, they're not doing that. They're, there's people in China who are putting little components in, right, uh, yeah. in the factories. Right. So they're not reproducing um, the, themselves. If, once they start reproducing themselves, so an what, iPhone gives birth to mean? another iPhone. What does that mean, then, reproducing then, yourself? I can't imagine two people hermetically sealed in an iron capsule in outer space trying to reproduce themselves. It wouldn't work at all because they don't have all the other life forms that they are obligatorily well, no, embedded you're in, in. You're embedded in an environment, but... Just like an iPhone is embedded in a factory, embedded with people doing this to it, and it's, it's parasitic on the things that are creating it. Uh, no, because it doesn't have a genome which is directing the a blueprint. reproduction. So the of blueprint gets reproduced to factory to factory? and then It's it not their own, it's done by humans. It's, not their, it's done by humans. Right. You think humans are doing that? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I think I think the managers at Apple could control what the next iPhone is going to look like. You do. It's not could, they do.